I hope y'all are doing well. And so today I wanted to share with you all my 11 years, my 11 years of being completely natural. And I am so excited to share this whole journey with you all and what I've learned. And also I'll be answering some questions that I received from a couple of people. Uh, last week I asked you all if y'all wanted to uh, ask any questions that I can include in this video so that I can answer them. And hopefully this will be helpful for anybody else who was thinking about asking the same question. But yeah, so without further ado, let's hop right on into this video. Yeah, so um, back in 2006, this was when I was a, uh, a freshman in high school and it was my last time getting a actual, um, last time getting a relaxer. And then I remember um, probably like a couple of months after that, I was washing my hair and blew it out and asked my mom uh, if she would like to grease my scalp for me. You know, that's, that's back in the day. <laughs> so she was greasing my scalp and then she looked and was like, don't get no more perm. Like, that's it. Don't get, like, don't get no more perm. So about a year and a half, I was transitioning. So I was like clipping well, I, I didn't clip. <laughs> my mom clipped <laughs> clip my hair. Like, uh, she would clip my hair a little bit by a little bit um, all throughout that time of me transitioning. And then on two, on February, <laughs> I think about it. So February, I think it was on Valentine's Day, if I'm not mistaken. And she clipped the rest of the perm dance off. I was fully natural and I was so excited so all throughout those years I was trying to um, learn my hair and learn what should I do with it um, but I was really keeping it basic especially throughout high school shampoo condition it was probably it was with Garnier Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine uh, shampoo and conditioner I was using that a lot and um, I would blow out my hair um, a lot as well because you know, I wasn't really ready to take care of the actual, you know, curls and kinks that I had yet. And then around like 2009, that's when I actually went to a salon and they blew out my hair and flat ironed and they actually cut a lot of the dead ends off. So when, um, so I got that done and then I was like, well, I want to flat iron my hair some more. So. A year goes by and my hair was growing, but I still had those damaged ends from me flat ironing my hair all the time. So I went and got my hair, um, my hair washed, deep conditioned, flat iron, all that stuff. And then um, they cut a lot of the inches off as well because I was damaging my ends so bad from flat ironing. And I was like, okay, I may need to chill out with the flat iron. So, so I was trying to figure out what type of styles I can wear with my hair. And then that's when I started watching YouTube. And then that's when I was looking at Natural 85, Mahogany Curls, Chime Edwards. Um, that's when she was Hair Crush. I think her channel was Hair Crush. I was watching their videos and I was getting some ideas on how to really take care of my hair like through you know natural hairstyle so I learned twist outs I learned braid outs learned uh, flexi rod sets and all of that stuff I really started seeing my hair grow more and more and then I was blowing out my hair less because I learned how to um, do you know more natural type hairstyles so that's during that time, I loved Shea Moisture. I loved Cantu. I loved um, the Eco Style Gel, the olive oil one. And I started liking the Argan oil one, but the olive oil was my favorite. And if y'all watch my older videos, you would see that that olive oil gel <laughs> was in almost every hairstyle <laughs> video that I used. But um, yeah, so I started doing that more and you know, kind of um, figuring out what products will work for my hair and stuff. So, like, till this day, I'm really learning um, the health of your hair strands. And that is a good contributor to length retention because our hair grows 
but it's the fact of retain length. So um, that's what I've been learning a lot lately. Beginning of 2017, I had to, actually had to cut my hair. My hair had bad damage ends because for one, I didn't clip my ends when I was supposed to. And then another reason is that I did not take care of my hair when I went to that pool. And if y'all um, seen that video, um, I explained everything. But if you haven't, I will link that down below or I'll put a little iCard up here so that y'all can see it. So I went ahead and cut my hair and I'll put a picture of comparison of how much I did cut in my hair. But right now my hair is probably, let's see. My hair right now is, that's how long my hair is right now. It grew a lot ever since I cut it last year and I've just been focusing on more on healthy hair because before I was like, yeah, hair growth, hair growth, but you really gotta focus on healthier hair and healthy hair practices. Lately, I have been doing clay masks and these clay masks, I've been using the Aztec Indian, Indian Healing Clay. <sighs> it was kind of hard for me to say that. But I've been using that along with like some oils and apple cider vinegar. And um, I've been using that as a clarifier for my hair, like a natural clarifier for my hair. And when I tell you the products, have, like my hair was able to receive products like really well and my hair like continued to stay like moisturized for a longer period of time which I was so excited so lately I have done two um, clay masks so I did one in, one in December one in January I kind of skipped this month so I'll do another one for the beginning of March I have been loving those clay masks. They are amazing. And I have been seeing a difference in the health of my hair. So let's get started with the Q&A session. So first, I would like to answer all the questions that I got from one of my subscribers, Ms. Javonna. I hope I'm saying your name right. So thank you again for saying all of these questions. That was so sweet of you. And um, I think these questions will be enough to take care of the rest of this video. So yeah, so let's get started with that. Okay, so first she asked, hello, hi. <laughs> Have you always had long length? Um, the answer to that is no. Yeah, ninth grade, that's when my hair was like the shortest. What was the key in your hair journey to get where you're at in the long length? I say the key is patience. <laughs> Those are one of the keys is patience. And then also be gentle with your hair. Um, because when you're gentle with your hair, your hair tends to survive more with length retention. So be gentle with your hair when you're styling your hair, when you're deep conditioning your hair, when you're washing it, when you're detangling it before or after or however, just be very gentle with your hair. So for the next question, did you ever get frustrated? Yes. 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 <laughs> Definitely back in 2017, I was so frustrated with my hair because I wasn't taking care of my hair. I neglected it. And then when it was time for me to tend to it, I, that's when I started getting mad with my hair. Like, why is it not coming out right? What am I doing? What products am I using? All that stuff. The pool story. That's another one. I got so frustrated with my hair. Why did I even do that? But it was all because of, of the decisions that I made. So I can't blame nobody else but myself because of, you know, the neglection that I did to my hair. It was just a whole mess. Do you have a lot of people in your family with long hair? Um, actually, yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of people um, in my family with long hair. Um, some have like, you know, cut their hair, but they, naturally have um long hair and it's both on my mom's side and my dad's side so yeah are you going for hair goalie yes i am trying to get back to uh 
tailbone only, but healthier. I did reach it before, but those ends were damaged and I was like, no, I want to get to the tailbone length with healthy hair, so tailbone length. <laughs> Do you get a lot of questions about your hair in public when you're out? Yes, especially when my hair is out. <laughs> I get, I do get a lot of questions like what do I use with my hair and um, have I always been natural like or is that your real hair? <laughs> I can understand their question when they ask that so I can't, can't fault them on asking that question. What do you like about your natural hair? My natural hair is a part of me and so if it's a part of me, I gotta take care of it, you know, because you know, we gotta we gotta take care of ourselves and when you take care of your hair you feel better and um you feel better, you feel less stressed about something. <laughs> and what I love is that the fact that we can do so many things with our hair. We can blow it out straight, we can curl it up, we can naturally <laughs> do wash and goes or um, manipulate with twist outs and braid outs and braids and these twists or these faux locks. It's like you can do so many things with our hair and our hair is so different and unique. Like when you take care of your hair, you're taking care of yourself. Self-care is so important. So that's how I look at it. Yeah, so I think for right now, that's all the time that I have to answer questions and all of those questions came from Miss Javonna so thank you so much for sending in those questions. If you have more questions I'll make sure I can answer those in a different video. I hope this video is very helpful for you all. So just let me know about your hair journey and how long have you been natural or what your goals are in your hair journey. Just let me know down below. So if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to be a part of this family, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. So don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll be alerted when I post my next upload. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!